me to Capital G here. Got a couple of kick-ass duels for you guys to check out. When I made my top five decks of the format, a lot of people in the comment section, I think these were DDD fans, were telling me how I had forgotten about DDD, how it should have been on the list, if nothing else, as an honorable mention. And you know what? I think we might have to put some respect on the DDD name. Maybe Cap G was just wrong. So let's go ahead and show you guys some of what DDD can do now that they have Chris John Hall of Firebrax in the TCG and they've been obviously they've been waiting for that card for such a long time his opponent is playing um super quantums if I'm not mistaken yeah, he's playing super quantums anyways he opens up with uh seven Kepler which obviously is a plus one then activates where art thou to get another level one monster obviously your slimes can activate in the graveyard he's gonna trade everything in for cross sheep and then he's going to use the red slime the necro slime to fusion summon from the graveyard this will trigger cross sheep and you know he'll be able to get some more monsters okay he's gonna bring back alexander then he's gonna go into hall of firebrax and now he can get another monster from his deck obviously for free he's gonna go for borrowload savage dragon this used to be like one of the problems that i would see with ddd they would always go into um the the ddd link monster and then they wouldn't be able to access a lot of these plays but now they can just use hall of firebrax and uh they can just keep it rolling he is gonna summon gilgamesh it's just you want to make sure you summon those other monsters first now it's okay to lock yourself into ddd because you can always go siegfried after this and that gives you another negation which obviously he's going to drop now the interesting thing is he's going to end with the dd ghost and you're like well why would he want to go with a random level two monster you guys will see in a second well actually i can just kind of explain needle fiber you can or <laughs> how the fibrax you can tag it out you can summon um a formula synchron you can draw a card and then you can use the formula synchron to synchro summon again using this level two now that means you can go for herald of the arc light if you feel like that's the best play and you just want another negation or you can go for something a little more spicy which we'll show you guys momentarily so he is gonna have to pay some life points i believe that that was for where art thou his opponent is going to attempt to use card by the grave i'm not sure what he's looking to call by the grave because uh yeah anyways he's just going to negate that with savage dragon and then he is going to go ahead and summon that formula synchron and draw a card so as i said before now that you have these two uh fours or the two level twos on the field you could synchro summon for herald of the arc light but if your opponent has a monster that can attack over it i'm not sure that that really serves a purpose because they'll probably just go battle phase attack over your arc light and you won't really get much value so instead he's going to do something different after he draws his card he's gonna activate the uh formula synchron effect and he's gonna go for the hot red dragon archfiend king calamity the one that is uh basically just a gg because it doesn't let your opponent activate any more card effects for the remainder of the turn it's it's as a thought but it also works on um spells and traps if i'm not mistaken your opponent cannot activate uh cards or effects in response to this card's activation let's see this card rest of the turn yep that's what i thought when this card is synchro summon you can activate this effect for the rest of the turn your opponent cannot activate cards uh and also your opponent can't respond to this effect so yeah this card basically stops your opponent from activating anything and if you are uh playing against or dueling against a combo deck they're just not going to be able to combo it doesn't matter if spells traps or monster effects are part of their combo they can't use any of those uh cards but again this isn't something that you'd have to go for if you were playing against a control deck maybe herald of the arc light just getting a simple negation like having a third negation might actually be better if you were playing against a deck that plays a lot of back row like alter guys or maybe something like guru etc etc anyways second duel is uh going to be noble knights playing against or i should say dueling against the uh go second version of crusadia i said this before and i'll say it again if you guys ever want to get on this channel send me a go second crusadia duel i'm a sucker for crusadia uh 60 card version of noble knights which I guess isn't really all that like it's not all that out there because you know these builds do play a bunch of swords and then you're also going to play iso so you can use the swords from your deck and whatnot and this is an og kind of old school build of noble knights because we know that noble knights have uh new cards coming out uh, coming out in rise of the duelist and doesn't appear like he's playing any of those so yeah this is basically just go to iso try to get one of those noble knights xc monsters on field and i mean you guys know the deal <laughs> just put a whole bunch of swords on it and hope the goodness that it doesn't die die boards is a good card but uh, i don't think the new versions of noble knights to flames i don't think they're going to play it and uh yeah this is definitely old school noble knights you summon one big xc monster 
put a bunch of swords on that bad boy and hope the goodness your opponent doesn't kaiju you because if they do you might get shrecked anyways his opponent doesn't have a kaiju but he does have the next best thing he's got the waterfront to search the kaiju so we'll see if he can get to that kaiju he's gonna activate it and morgan is the response to try to stop that but called by the grave is the response to morgan to try to stop that so uh ultimately Morgan's not going to resolve, and that is really bad news for um, our Noble Knight player, because once he gets to three counters, it's pretty much a wrap. He should be able to tribute this, and uh, you can see he's obviously Link Summoning. He is going to summon his um, Noble Knight from the deck. This one specifically does actually have disruption, because when a Noble Knight monster is equipped with one of the uh, Noble Arm cards, I believe he gets to destroy a card on field. So he did get kaiju and he's like, okay, Cap, no problem. I got this. He's going to activate his effect. Well, once, uh, well, right now he's targeting, but once he gets equipped with some of those spells, he's going to activate his effect, trying to destroy the Regulex, but his opponent does have Crusadia Power. This is the one that makes your Crusadia monster unaffected by uh, other effects, and that means that he is easily able to go for Equimax, and if you got Equimax plus Maximus, your opponent's in really bad shape. Don't even matter that these monsters are in defense mode, because he has the Kaiju in attack mode, which is all that matters. You can one-shot right through the monster you gave your opponent, and that's is a wrap anyways let's go ahead for a second and check out this ddd deck list just for those of you guys who are wondering honestly it, it looks pretty standard to me like a lot of the ddd builds that i've seen historically they run a lot of level one monsters you're maxing out on slimes you're maxing out on lamnia so i don't really think the build is like all that out there but i just wanted to show it for people who were interested and of course it will be in the description below if you guys just want to go ahead and download it anyways thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already and turn on that notification bell for daily videos